live. This is the main event of the evening. It's me. Hello, how are we doing? I hope we're doing well. Um, I didn't realise I had my mic switched off. Oops, a daisy. Oops. Oh well. We are back. You should be able to hear me now. Everything should be all good. Okay, so gonna try a new emulator. I was saying before, um, EPSXE is the one I was using up until recently, and. To be honest with you, the, the recording footage just lagged, it was it was a bit of a mess, um, it was getting stuttering sound and all kinds of stuff. So I'm switching over to a different emulator, now the downside is it doesn't support lossless discs, so I am going to have to convert them as I go um, for when I add a new game. If it's got multiple tracks, I'm going to need to convert those multiple tracks into a single bin queue file. So let's try a game that we tried yesterday but didn't work. Hopefully with the new setup it will. And if not, if not then this has been just a giant circle jerk. It is bloody raw. Much like my ass after a curry. Alice, you, go. you go used to be my boy. Being pretty. Well, this hasn't worked either, has it? Oh, let's try it. So we kind of got an in-between here. We've got, we've got no image at all. Okay. That's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work at all. Oh dear. Am I using the proper BIOS? Yes, I am. That's a shame. Okay, well it looks like we're moving on to the next game straight away, because that's just... Yeah, it is a cool game. It's a very cool game. If you can actually see what's going on in it. Now I've accidentally hit a button and I have no idea what I pressed. Uh. Yeah, this... Uh, Unfortunately, it's not going to be doable. Hmm. Okay, well, bloody rule one's out. Let's try bloody rule two. <laughs> it's 
So we may have to use a third emulator. Should we try a third emulator, see if it's any better there? Crikey. Who would have thought PlayStation would be so difficult to do? Um, okay, so the only other emulator I've got is this one. PSX Reloaded, or PCSX Reloaded. Okay, so configuration. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of configuring for this. I'm going to use a software driver because hopefully that should eliminate the distortion. Okay. Right, so this should just about do it. Hopefully the controller is set, set up. Okay. So it looks like the joystick's ready to go on this MU. Please let it work. Come on. I need a decent emulator to do this. I can't have it screwing up every five seconds like EPSXE was. And I always thought EPSXE was a great emulator until I started using it properly, you know, instead of uh, the hardware that I normally use. I thought, much like PlayStation, uh, much like SNES, that PSX emulation was pretty much perfect at this point, but I was obviously wrong. Okay, so just bear with me a moment. Okay, one second. Now this is giving me a different issue. For some reason the screen's all kind of messed up. So let me just adjust this. Okay, it's going to make my stream look a little uglier. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up full screen, so I'm going to stretch that out. It's doing one-to-one, -one, so it's exactly the same as the PlayStation uh, right there. Just bear with me a sec. I'm going to have to shut down the emulation, get the graphics modes going on this new thing. So let's scale to window size, keep aspect ratio. That should do the job. Fingers crossed, I won't need to tweak it anymore. As I say, it's going to make my stream look ugly, but uh, small price to pay, providing it works. about do it. Third time's a charm, right? You go. Yes, we have characters. Here we go. Let 
me rave. I want a party. Oh, punch in the ball sack. Finish him. So this is already a better emulator than EPSX he was. So PSX, PCSX Reloaded has really come a long way since I last used it. I used to play a lot of bloody Raw back in the day. There was a, a GameCube version and that was incredible. But I also loved the two PlayStation versions. In the arcade, I believe it was called Beast Ariser, uh, but this is a great conversion, and it's a great game. into what's that a, a rat oh no a warthog she's a pig <laughs> they made a female character a pig but not for long. Good job I don't need long to take him out. Just move my mic a little bit. Now that's a bit better, it's a bit closer. A bit more comfortable. Although I do get the feeling, yeah, it's gonna fall shite. Right. For one second, for some reason, whenever I move my mic, it wants to fall off from where I perched it. I've got one of these scissor arm things, but to be honest with you, this one was a cheap one, and I got what I paid for. It's, it's, it's not great. It keeps falling off. Okay, well, I think that's sturdy enough for now. Providing I don't nudge it, it should be fine. Let's kill this Abe, look Abe Lincoln lookalike. Combos. Get ready. Oh, he got me with his ass. Yeah, double spin kick. Take him out. Lady. 
Oh, she countered my throw. Bitch. Going for the throw and it's not working in in my favour. I'm better off just kicking him in the face. Yeah, so bloody roar's great. Big fan, big fan. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna get my ass kicked now. Uh, it's all your fault, guys. No, just kidding. No! My favourite character, well, it's um, the fox, not the fox, the uh, the rabbit. I like the rabbit, or I used to play as the rabbit when I played this quite a bit. But you know, times made me rusty on this game. Taken out. Booyah. But that is bloody raw, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to on to the sequel, shall we? Let's go on to bloody raw two. To reboot, yeah, we need to reboot. Is it still not going to work? You like the sequel better than the first one? Yeah, I probably do too, too. To be honest. Um, Okay, this is starting to really annoy me. Uh, some games work on one on one MU, some games work on another. Some games aren't working very well at all. Are my emulators out of date maybe? I wonder if there's new updates. Dolphin. Nintendo Switch. Mm -mm. When was the last PlayStation 1 update? Now oh, this is the most up-to-date version. Ah, wait. I see what's happened. Yeah, okay. 
Now it should start working. For some reason it asked me to record the audio separately and it had a, a little prompt in the corner. So hopefully now I've hit that prompt, the game should work, right? Let's see if we can get rid of that. Let's disable the sound recording window. Try and get the game running again. Or is it just going to be a pain in the ass and we're just going to have to juggle emulators? No, it's going to be a pain in the ass and we're going to have to juggle emulators. Okay. So we'll switch from one MU to the other. And we'll get this one going. This one should run it. Or one of them will. Drives me nuts. If I'd have known that these kind of problems still existed with PS1, I probably wouldn't have gone for this as the next list of games to do. This is extending the time it takes to record by a massive margin. But, committed now. Okay, let's switch over. Let's switch the MU so we turn that one off. And then we turn that one on. And here we go. Is this going to actually work? like the comedian as well but as somebody said the mole was their favorite let's go for let's go for the mole mole mania and there's a massive step up in graphical quality that'll do No double perfect there. in the first game. Here we go. Massive step up in graphical quality. Quite massive. Black screen, you kidding me? Oh no, man. That sucks. Sorry about that. Okay. I had studio mode switched on. I forgot. So my mistake. Hopefully you didn't get a black screen for that.
Oh, that's nasty. Taking out. Alice was my personal favourite character. Just had some cool combos, you know. a lot more fluid than the original as well the way the way that the characters feel so much better it's a massive massive improvement over the first one huge it's like night and day and the first one's still pretty good but this is just so much better Smash, there's no point wasting my animal instincts at this point. I have to try something now, though. Camera. 
Okay. Oh, nice combo. Oh, that's nasty. Those. I forgot all about those. Alright, we gotta play again because I've gotta figure figure out how do I do those moves again. Uh, we'll go for Alice. Alice the rabbit, the tiger. Rabbit up against the tiger. Yeah. Got all about those special moves in this game. Let's do uh, something we haven't seen yet. Scrappy, but it works. I did no damage. I did a ton of damage. Oh, 
Right. The moment you miss and he hits you, it's over. Right, we'll try another character. We'll try and beat this guy. Let's try the bat. She plays a bit like uh, Helena from DOA 5. Until she turns into a giant fucking thing, though. Come on, let me get this last hit. Thank you. Go low and attack slow. Have you ever noticed how all women in fighting Jenny games dress slutty? I knew there was a, a, was a reason why I like fighting games. finish. I was going to say Lardass then, but <laughs> now we already fought her. smash Get ready. okay well we got this far we might as well complete the game right if she's not a bad character, we tried Uriko. Let's try Uriko. The half beast, half bitch. Right, let's go. 
So which half is which? How you like that? Oh, she's a cat person. Right, oh, okay. half my half gone and there's the other half gone just when I thought I was putting up a fight nah. we will beat him I'm determined to now we got gotten this far may as well for the wolf. I've already done Dead or Alive. down totally right next character I did like bloody raw on the GameCube yes yes I did very good game she not the leopard god of the lion The only thing I love about Logan Paul is if he was one of the people that were found in the forest. You win. Is that the best you can do? Okay, well that's the game. Congratulations. Is that it? Just get one screen. Well, whoop de frickin' do. Uh, right now I'm not on an Xbox X, you know, but I do have one. Oh, 
right, this is an unskippable credit sequence, by the way. I got a nice TV to go with it. Alan, yeah. I got a 55 inch 4K screen. Does the job. And here I am playing a shitty PS. Well, not shitty, but shitty graphic wise PS1 game on my 4K monitor on my PC. You know, I have a super powerful PC and I'm playing 20 year old games on it. It's just the way it goes. Something about these games. Produced by Hudson. Thank you for the play. Well, there we go. That is plenty of footage for Bloody Raw. Slap my fingers a bit, Bloody Raw, as well. Play Bomberman. Which one? Are we talking Bomberman? Are we talking Bomberman Fantasy Race? Are we talking Bomberman Land? Bomberman Wars? Bomberman World? Which Bomberman? There's Bomberman Party Edition. The most original playing one. Well, that's Bomberman, then. It's just plain old Bomberman. Whoops, wrong button. Let me just get it going. Play the Euro version over the Japanese one purely so we can see what the menus are. We'll ignore that screen right now because everyone did. Bye, Hada -san. Bye -san. Yeah, PS1 boot screen's very nostalgic. What's going on with the controller? Wow. Okay, something's not quite right here. So let me just uh, revert my controller back to a good old fashioned normal pad. Perhaps the analog stick's playing up. There we go. So we've got modern and retro. Well, I like modern. always pretty good. It's better with friends of course though. So we'll do a level or two of this and then we'll do uh, the battle mode. Yeah, the Switch one is apparently pretty good, but there's no way I'm paying what they're asking for it. It's a ridiculous price for Bomberman. <laughs> Screw that.
Now we've just got to find the exit. Yeah, exactly, Alan. It's it's a total ripoff. Even on the Xbox, it's going to be about thirty-five quid. It should be a budget game, like this was. This was a budget game. This was only a uh, seven ninety-nine when it came out. Did I like the N64 Bomberman's? Uh, Bomberman Hero was okay. I don't really remember the other ones. played them in a long time, the N64 ones, but like most N64 games, I can imagine it didn't age well. That's enough. You, you get the idea of this. Let's uh, let's go to the battle mode. Can we exit? Yes, we can. Uh, what's better, Skies of Arcadia for GC or DC? Well, GC, but only just. What consoles can I stream at the minute? Most of them, but right now I'm recording footage for a for a PlayStation list. So I'm doing PS1, PS1 games. Hmm. That'll do. Uh, Seesaw Land. Can I play the Wu-Tang Gang game? Yeah, we can play that later. Taste the pain. I remember that being quite good. And if you want to play really shit PlayStation games, we can maybe play The Crow. Oh! I got ravaged. Oh, we've already recorded Mortal Kombat. Yeah, all of them. Including the Special Forces and Sub-Zero. They're all terrible. The C12 is a good game. We might feature that later on. But I've got to say, this PlayStation version of Bomberman is a bit bland. It's, yeah, it doesn't have the, the same impact as the, the SNES ones did, or the PC Engine, or anything like that. The PlayStation version's a bit, well, gash. Snow's Bomberman and the, the Mega Bomberman were all really, really good. And the Saturn Bomberman is amazing. Sonic Mania, I haven't played it. Uh, I've got it. Uh, Sonic Mania, I've played like one level. Like my kid keeps wanting to watch the introduction. So we'll watch the, the anime intro over and over and over again. 
but when I try to actually play the game, he gets upset. <laughs> and he just wants to watch the intro again. So I've kind of given up. I'll, I'll wait till Sonic Mania Plus comes out and play it with the new DLC. Sonic Forces, well, aren't you the clever special snowflake? I could see that that game was going to stink from a mile off when they didn't even have a name for it and they were showing off CG. They kind of, you can kind of tell where their, their development budget went and yeah, yeah, just knew it was going to suck. Besides, it's a 3D Sonic game. Of course it was going to suck. see the spirits within. Not a great deal. When the best bit of your movie is a ringtone on one of the character's phones, there's not much to talk about. I'm laying turds down on the battlefield. Here we go. My kangaroo turd is killing everybody. Oh no, I've lost my king of reef. Come on straight. Oh, then we're gonna sheet on there. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, I, I'm totally with you that you want the franchise to keep going, but when they've been beaten in that dead horse for so long. You know it's over. They should just let Sonic go gracefully. Do I like Final Fantasy IX? Yes, I did. Final Fantasy IX is my, my second favourite Final Fantasy game. After six. It's alright, Dominic. Ask as many questions as you like. It's a group chat. Everyone can join in. I'm just going around the arena throwing bombs and hoping it's over soon. This is boring, this version. It really is. It's a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, we'll wait for the for the battle to be over and then we're on to the next game. Yeah, it's over. Right, okay. That's enough of that one. Okay, so what else have we got? A Mickey Mania? No. Would Bomberman be classed as a puzzle game? No, it's more of a party game, I'd say. More party than puzzle. Um, don't really want to do Mickey Mania because it's definitely not going to be in my top 10 or top 100 PlayStation games and it's definitely not going to be in the worst ones. So there's kind of no real point playing that. Uh, we could play C12 though. But let's try this first. 
This is a good one. This is a game not a lot of people know exist. Which is funny considering the N64 versions were so popular. It's quite a surprise that nobody knows really that this one is a thing. so hard I racked him. It's Snowboard Kids or Snowbow Kids. Snowbow Kids Plus to be exact. Not many people know this exists on the PS1. We'll skip the story, shall we? Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go for Slash. What do we want? I want course. Oh, it's got frickin' dinosaurs. We have to do that. Freestyle Free board, level one. Let's go. To an ad break for some of you. Oh, this is janky. I forgot quite the level of jank in this game. Oh, we played Thrasher already, but we haven't played Judge Dread. Um, I don't really want to play Judge Dread. <laughs> Judge Dread sucks. But, got to do a worst PS1 list as well as the best, so... It will be done at some stage. I'm just not quite ready for it today, I don't think. Batman and Robin the arcade game. It's not bad. Certainly a lot better than the other Batman and Robin game on the PS1. Which we will have to feature at some point as well because it's a terrible, terrible game. Yeah, the N64 version is much better of this. Going in depth on it, Alan. There's, there's no way I can play it for that long. It'll just be a list, so it'll be a couple of minutes, 
saying about the reasons as to why it's so shite. Did I like Blinks 1 and 2? Nice idea, poor execution. An angle <sighs> completely screwed it up. I can get through these a bit better. Ah. Didn't like Star Fox. Grabbed by the Ghoulies was okay. No! Crashed. Damn it. That's going to take some recovery. Good job we've got the final lap. Catch up. That will certainly help. That won't. Shit. Nah. It's going to put me way behind. But I made it through the cups. That's good. Do I miss the old rare? You mean good rare? Of course. Do you wish they were making a new Unreal Tournament or Half-Life game? They are making a new Unreal Tournament. It's publicly available right now. It's a beta, but they're making it. And it's just called Unreal Tournament. You can get it from the uh, from the Epic Launcher on PC. It's not as good as something like Quake Champions, but it's still still a good distraction. Uh, a new Half-Life game. Well, everybody's been waiting for Half-Life Two. 
uh, Half-Life 3, should I say, after Half-Life 2. Don't think it's ever going to happen, though. Too much pressure now. The game will have to be perfect to match expectations, and it just can't. So... Right, well I think that's enough Snowbow Kids. We get a great idea of what the game's like, you know? I don't think we need to delve into too much more. I don't think we need to bother with a trick game or anything like that. So I'll get the next game running. Some of you may see an ad in the meantime. Um, stick with us uh, if you are in an ad and come right back and see what the next game's gonna be. For the rest of you who don't get the ad, let's pick. Should we keep the snow theme? Mm. Let's keep the snow theme with sled storm. Oh no, sled storm I need to convert. Um, okay. Something I don't need to convert for this MU. Let's just pick something. Something of note that doesn't need converting. Well, there's this, but this I'm going to end up playing all night, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, maybe save that for another day. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we have here? Oh, somebody said they wanted to play Wu-Tang, didn't they? Now, there's a bunch of audio tracks, so I won't be able to run it without converting it first. So let's do that real quick. The woo. Yeah, you're probably right there, Dominic. Um, it's a shame, because I'd love to see a Dead of um, Left for Dead 3, as well as a Half-Life 3. Whether we'll ever see it or not, I, I don't think we will. But it's such a shame. I would I would love to have those. Okay, so the woo is weddy. We just reboot. And this should work. I'm just gonna make sure that my controller is set back to as it should be. Okay. Insert CD image. That should do it. to the correct padlock um, right bear with me because there's no point having a censored version so let me just find the uh, cheat code so it's triangle circle cross cross square triangle circle square there we go fully uncensored with fatalities now How many of these guys are still alive? I'm going to go for the ODB. The ODB. Okay.
there's only one way open, so we'll go that way. Staten Island Courtyard. God, I forgot how claustrophobic the arenas were. I forgot how small everything was. And this is totally going to get me a content ID strike. Um, yeah, I can't change the volume. Screw it. saying I'm just gonna ramble over it in the hope that the content ID doesn't pick me up off with your head bitch can I do that mid fight no it just knocks him sky high oh it's out of here off with your head area courtyard okay let's try that I will face Juan Long he is strong we will have to learn new skills to defeat him who's a big mama jammer any that this game was made completely out of a cancelled video game called Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill was so violent that EA pulled it before they launched it and it wasn't banned but EA just decided that it was too violent to release and then they converted the engine to run this. The road not taken. There goes my head. He is destroying me. new chamber, whatever that is. So this is one of those types of games where you have to level up your character to learn new moves. So at first, when you play it, it's a bit janky. It's a bit of a mess, but the further you play, the better you get, the better the game becomes. Would you look at that, that kind of achievements. Now where am I going? Under the bridge. I'm going to a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Chang Dao Fu. Did I like Def Jam? Yeah, I did. I like the first Def Jam, especially. Didn't mind. Didn't like Def Jam Icon though very much.
about the EA Sports Streets games. FIFA Street, yes. NBA Street, yes. Um, NFL Street, not so much. Kicking this bitch's ass. The nickname I have for my cock. Ooh. To perform this fatality, defeat your opponent with the punch two button. So I've got a new fatality. Awesome. I've done that one. So we go to the barge. So we got a teammate this time. Ever played video games intoxicated? Absolutely. Great fun. Couple of beers, couple of mates, playing Halo or something like that is awesome fun. But as I've got a little baby at the moment, you know, he's less than three months old, I can't really get drunk, so I gotta look after them too. So is a son of a bitch. console I dislike. Well, and there's a couple I, I think are heavily, heavily overrated. It's not going to be a popular opinion, but I think the PlayStation 2 is a horrifically overrated console, uh, especially compared to the GameCube and the Xbox at the time. Um, the machine was poorly designed. It had DVD drive lens problems. It had this horrific resolution, which left everything either slightly blurry or, or, or um, having this kind of shimmer effect. Yeah, the, the PS2 had problems. Um, not to mention the fact that the first three PlayStation 2s I had didn't work. I have a Japanese import one and it could only play, it could only play uh, single, single layer DVDs. The lens got stuck. Um, and the second one couldn't run CD based games and the third one just just ended up overheating and dying. So it took me four PS2s to get one that actually worked. to see the good in every console even the even the the poor ones with a with a small library like say for example the jaguar i think the jaguar's got a couple of really good games um it's just a shame that the machine was so horrendously overlooked and underpowered compared to its competition the cdi was a bit shit though philips cdi was a bit rough there's one game that I really like on it, which is Defender of the Crown, and the rest of the games, yeah, there are better versions elsewhere. Yeah, that 100 million PS2s was definitely misleading. 
Um, I know of several people who went through multiple PS2s. Um, and that was shipped, not sold, so... I know most of them sold eventually, but... Still a, still a little variation that's worthy of note. hard. It's, it's more of a game of counters. powerful. PS3 or 360. Technically, on paper, the PS3's cell processor was more powerful, but it was so complex and so hard to develop for, and considering the PlayStation 3 had half the RAM of a 360, in real world terms, the 360 was more powerful. You know, in, in terms of, you know, uh, actually to work effectively. The 512 meg RAM made all the difference compared to the 256 on the PS3. Especially with that slow Blu-ray drive on the, uh, on the PS3 also. You'll notice every Unreal Engine game on the PS3 runs horrifically. Every Bethesda game that uses a lot of memory runs awfully. But the Sony in-house studios could really get the most out of the PS3, and you had some fantastic games like Last of Us, of course. Um, which goes to show that the, the PS3 was capable, a very capable machine. It's just very few people could use it. Ow! He's completely killed my friend already. Now he's going to completely kill me. Look at those combos. That's nasty. Oh, thank you, sir. I have another. Oh. try once more and then we'll try and move on to the next game but this gets a bad reputation this Wu-Tang it's a good game it's just it's misunderstood do I like the Tales series of RPGs uh, yeah not bad Tales of Vesperia was really good Tales of Destiny wasn't bad. Columbia. Yeah, the 90s games were great. Ah, 
yeah. Uh, Half-Life 1X, it's called the the hacked Half-Life 1. It's it's a it's a port basically. They ported the PC version source code over to the Xbox. They did that with a lot of games on Xbox. You could get Quake 3. You could get um, Quake 2 as well. Quake 2 was ported. Doom, Wolfenstein, lots of games. Killer Instinct. But in terms of this game, well, I think we've seen enough of the Woo coming through. But while we're on the stub subject of first-person shooters, we should do this next. Come on. Licensing and cost versus time versus potential revenue is why those games never came out. You know, if you think a lot about a lot of those games, um, they they mostly been and gone since the Xbox was released. You look at Half Life. Half Life came out in what ninety nine, ninety eight. So bringing it on the Xbox three or four years later didn't really make a lot of sense. What they should have done is in the Half-Life 2 conversion, the official conversion of that, they should have included Half-Life 1 as a bonus feature, which they did do with a lot of games, like Doom 3 had Doom as, a, uh, as an additional, additional game. Um, I've just got to change the controller output slightly for this one. So this, of course, is Doom for the PlayStation. What a conversion this was. What a port. One of the greatest ports of the early PlayStation's life. But it doesn't look like it's emulated properly. Oh dear. No, it's not. <laughs> Interesting, though. Never quite seen Doom like this. Hmm. Okay, we may have to switch emulators again just to just to record Doom. But this is really interesting. You can see how the game's drawn. And now the characters are drawn and everything. It's pretty cool. And yeah, even though the game's completely messed up, I played this so much, I know where I'm going. The exit's just here, and the key, the button's right there. Right, okay, let's try a different emulator, so we'll swap that over. We'll move over to uh, PSX Reloaded again, because that seemed to work quite well for the other game, so... Uh, let's get Doom running on this. The CD doesn't appear to be a valid PlayStation CD. I beg to differ. Hmm. Second time's a charm, here we go. Just might have to switch the controller again. Yeah, we're just gonna have to shut down, change the controller to a regular PlayStation pad rather than a DualShock. Didn't like that very much, but we'll try again. Controllers, uh, DualShock 2 inside, no. Run, doom. Okay. We're just going to have to switch over, otherwise you get a black screen again. We can't be having that, can we? There we go. Fingers crossed this should work. Do you think GTA 3 and Max Payne would have been excellent? Yes, absolutely. In fact, there's a, there's a demo of Max Payne running on Dreamcast and it looked fantastic.
Okay, well this is running a bit better. So we're going to have to use a combination of emulators as we go. If we struggle with one, we'll have to move on to the next one. But this seems to be running Doom just fine. The 3DO version sucks so bad because it's a port of the Jaguar version and it was rushed. The Jaguar version on its own is fantastic, but because they had no time to really make it work on the 3DO, it, it's, yeah, it was a bit of a disaster, unfortunately. I should do it. Let's run, 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 run. Ah, just missed. Okay, try that again. Run, 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 run. Yeah, we make it. Great. And on to the next level. Gotta love the sound of the shotgun, especially in the PlayStation version. It just sounds delightful. I personally think that Doom was one of the contributing factors to how the PlayStation gained dominance so quickly. Because the port of Doom was just fantastic. It made PC owners jealous. Got the uh, the button. Okay, we'll come back here in a moment. Where is the button? It's on the other side, isn't it? It's here. Is it here? Maybe it's on the yeah. It's this side then. Okay. This lighting was gorgeous back in the day. Absolutely breathtaking. And the texture work and getting a top of the range PC game to run on the newest console was was quite stunning. Everyone was talking about Doom back when this came out and it just reinvigorated the, the, the Doom game. Um, seeing it on a console was really an eye-opener for how FPS's would have been possible on a console system. I 
I must know every secret of this game like the back of my hand. I've played it so many times. These levels are part of me. Played every version of Doom, my own every version of Doom. You know, Super Nintendo, Jaguar, 3DO, Game Boy Advance, you name it, I own it. It's one of my favourite games ever, it's one of the greatest and most significant games of all time. So of course it's going to be in the PlayStation Top 100 list. It's the forefather of the, the FPS on console. And those lighting effects, man, stunning. Such a shame that the Sega Saturn version um, was was blocked by John Carmack. Uh, they they did some neat tricks on the on the Saturn version, the the original Saturn version anyway. Um, and then John Carmack said, "No, that's not how Doom was supposed to work. Scrap it. Only use software. I don't use the hardware at all. Just use software rendering." And it was a result of that that made the Saturn port of Doom horrific. Because of meddling Carmack. You should have left it alone when it rocked. Using ray tracing and all that fun stuff to give a stellar Saturn performance of Doom. Personally, I reckon that he might have been paid off by Sony to make sure that the Saturn version didn't look as good. And that's why they said that the Saturn version could only use software rather than hardware like uh, like the PlayStation version could. The official line is um, he didn't want the, the polyg polygonal kind of geometry to, to warp and destabilize, but I'm not buying that. If your game can run ten times smoother with a little bit of polygonal warping, you take the polygonal warping. Caleb. Awesome. Thanks for following, fella. I appreciate that. That's right. If you're on Mixer, if you're on Twitch, if you're on uh, YouTube, come and say hi. Uh, my chat works across everything. I'm mostly on YouTube, but hey, I'm happy to talk to anyone from anywhere. rough pinky who turned the lights out No matter. a couple of shots.
Now I'm sure there was something here. Because normally this part drops down, doesn't it? I remember that quite vividly, but I also remember that you could get up there. Maybe you can't with the PlayStation Edition. Never mind. We'll just move on. Anyone else want some? Anyone else want some? Come and get it. Come and get it. That works. I uh, yeah, I do like Doom 64. It took a while to grow on me, but I do like it. It's extremely dark. But what I like about it most is that it's officially canon. <laughs> it's it's set just before the new Doom 2016, so and yeah, it's pretty cool. You go back to the depths of hell to destroy every demon there. You don't want to leave any standing. At the end of the Doom 64, you become the Doom Slayer. Well, I think this is enough of the Doom 1 at least. Uh, let's let's show Doom 2 on the same game. Let me just clear this room. Get the hazmat suit. That's the way I came. This is where I'm going. Go back up here, try this way. gung-ho for a death because then it feels miraculous when you don't die straight away
And let's just stand next to a barrel and blow ourselves up. There we go. Perfect. Right, we'll do a bit of Doom 2. We won't do anywhere near as much, but we'll do a bit. going to exit just yet. I right, pressed the wrong switch. Normally that this wall opens, but I pressed the wrong switch. That one. Never mind. Okay, now we'll exit. This will be the last level we record for this, and then we move on to the next game. No, actually, no, st I stand corrected. There is one extra level I want to record. Because it's something exclusive to the console versions. So we really should highlight its presence and it's a kind of cool level anyway so we'll just cruise along here for now get the med kit So, let me get the code so we can go straight there. What level was it called? Denied? No, that wasn't it. Was it Nirvana? The Gantlet? No. I'm sure it was called Club Doom. Or perhaps it's in the uh, the other game. Perhaps it's in Doom One. Or perhaps it's only there. Right, we'll try going back into Doom One. 
and we'll do uh, L1, R2. No, wrong code. So it's right, left, R2, R1, triangle, L1, circle, X. Just got to remember the disco level. map 59 according to that so map 59 well as I can only get to level 54 how do I get there Gotta be another cheat, right? Or at least a level code, something. Yeah, I got a level code, that will do. Might take a while to put in, but it's uh, M. No. Son of a... That's different to the one I've got. Um, the one I've got is M. Uh, I keep wanting to press X to put the password in. So it's uh, M... M K P Q H one V seven one Z. This should do it. Yes, Club Doom, the exclusive console level. really showed off the lighting. Loads of revenants. Plasma guns, the perfect weapon for this. I love Doom 2016. I think it, it was my best game of that year. actually complete the level. Through there. Yeah, I really like Halo the Master Chief collection. Ah oh, yes, I forgot about the invisible walls. Yes. Gonna make 
your way through the invisible maze. There we go. Oh, we're nearly there. Not quite. and you can't even use the map to cheat. They thought of that. Huzzah! And that's Doom done. So we can quite happily move on to the next one. But before we do... I'm just going to go for a bathroom break. I'm going to play an ad and I'll be right back. See what's next on the agenda. No, I haven't played an entire Resident Evil. We played Biohazard one and a half, but we didn't play Resident Evil two. We played the the unfinished beta, never released edition of Resident Evil two, which was different. But those kind of games, you have to dig in for a while to really, really get the best out of them. So. They're not really that good for streaming. Um, or for me anyway, I need I need a warm up on them to get to the bits that I need to record, which might take a while. Which means it would take up a, pretty much a whole stream just for one game. Well, if you want to see the beta Nintendology, um, you can look back on uh, one of the, the earlier PlayStation recording sessions. I think it was day two where we, we covered Biohazard 1.5. Lots changed. Lots changed. Okay, so what's gonna be next? What can we do next? All right, I think I've done Beat Mania already. Um. 
We did the Street Fighter collections, we've definitely done those. We haven't done Street Fighter Alpha 3 though. So we can do Street Fighter Alpha 3. See, I'm, I'm half tempted not to include that in my top list. It is an amazing game, but the, uh, the conversion's not great. Loads of characters to choose from. Select your fighting style. We'll skip the uh, the intro. I'm just going to change my buttons real quick when we get in. change that and that Your messages, yes. Uh, the stream is slightly delayed, so they will come up, but they're they're slightly delayed, and they come up at the top, not the bottom. So. But what we can do is we can just move those up a little bit. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do quick two after this then. Well, I don't normally select Vism, but I thought I'd try it this time. Of course, you've got three different isms. X-ism is the strong one, A-ism is kind of the alpha-ism, and V-ism is variable. That you can make your own combos. Oh, my God. 
It's gonna be time. Just about when. Final fight level. Or is it the middle punch and kick throw? Yes, it is. Okay. It's Hugo in the back there. Of course, he'd make his appearance again in Street Fighter 3. And uh, Street Fighter X Tekken, of course. If you remember that game? No, me either. Remember that Namco were going to make a version of it too, just like uh, SNK did with Capcom vs SNK. I wonder what happened to that. Oh wait, it probably sucked. So they canned it, most likely. I hope everyone forgot about it. Gotta love that Vism. So dangerous. Oh, it's Akuma. Is that Shin Akuma or Akuma? Just Akuma, I think. Yeah, it's regular Akuma. What's so bad about Tekken X Street Fighter? It was broken. Broken. Fighters should be all about balance. SF and Tekken just wasn't balanced. all I need. There we go. Yeah, they did have Akuma in Tekken 7. I haven't got around to playing Tekken 7 yet, but I'm not expecting much, to be honest. Although I'm really excited about Dead or Alive 6 that's just been announced. It's not the fighting game that I want with a six at the end of it, but it's one I'll quite happily accept. Oh, and if Sega released Virtua Fighter 6, I will cream my pants. I've been waiting for that for years. That's me dead. I beat me to the dragon punch. Oh, my God. 
but it works. Oh, it's Dan! Yeah, they have a special introduction. myself on this one so I can do a different Vism with a different character. <laughs> Change character now. Nice. Go for good old fashioned Ryu. I'll go for Exism. Speed 2. Go for 
Jaguar probably could have, if it wasn't for the controller. 32X, not so much, because it's still limited by the, the, the Mega Drive that it's attached to. Will be the last match, and then we'll move on. Okay, so that is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Still not sure whether I'm going to include it because it's it's not the best port in the world. It's it's missed a lot out of the uh, the game. But this is definitely going to be in the top 100 without a shadow of a doubt. I love this game and it's a great conversion. These guys were also going to convert, uh, what was it called, Churok. These guys were scheduled to convert Churok to the uh, PlayStation and possibly Quake as well. Neither of those ever happened. I reckon they bit off more than they could chew, to be honest. This is, this is as far as things could get, I think. I've beaten this. I've beaten this a few times. Now, I could have sworn there was a dual shock for it. Just a second. Might have to shut down the emulator to make sure I've got the right control mode on. be absolutely certain. Yeah, I forgot to turn on the dual shock again. I keep forgetting that. Because we're going back and forth a lot between emulators, I keep forgetting to do the simple stuff like that. Yeah, Quake 2. Why is my email program opening up? Go away. I want to play Quake. I don't want to check email. Oh. 
alrighty. So that's best. We'll try that. What a great conversion this is. What a great conversion. Zulu section 5, clear and away. Sergeant Haas out. All right, Marine, haul your sorry asses into formation. Corporal Swampy and Wooly will take point position. Let's do this by the numbers, folks. We don't want any fender benders out here. Keep an eye on those inertial dampers or you'll splash on impact. Fifth section, start your status check. Short punch, check. Carapunkle, check. Thunder, check. Animal, check. Door, check. Box, check. Set down, check. Attention, all capital ships. Deployment phase complete. Fall back from orbit and wait for retrieval. Outstanding. Good luck, Marine. Heads up, y'all. Picking up a big ass power surge. Why aren't the capital ships bugging out? Something's very wrong. Power generators increasing the planet's gravitation. Damn it! Not the three. Lock onto that power. Yeah, this is probably better than the N64 version. It's also the only version with this cutscene. Unable to break orbit. They've somehow increased the planet's gravitational pull. Locate and disable the generator at all costs. We'll provide cover fire to clear your LC. You heard the man. We'll have our chance once you touch down. Start your final approach sequence. Don't want any deal, sir. Following us in. Of course, this PlayStation version differs from the, some of the other systems in a few little subtle ways. aren't the same. Tell you what, it takes a bit of getting used to the old school FPS games that don't support analog. It's a very weird feeling. where the PC version begins. somewhere there's one I'm 
No, it's some, there's some, um, some PS1 games that support analog. Uh, Alien Resurrection, for example, is a dual analog shooter. It's just this one was a little bit too early for that. But it's still controllable, it just takes me a few moments to get my head around it. Like pressing L1 and R1 to look up and down is a bit weird when you're so used to just flicking a stick. And I'm so used to using the triggers to shoot that it's a bit alien to use them for strafing. Such a good conversion, this. It really took the, the PlayStation into consideration. Didn't just try to lump in the PC game onto the PlayStation. They really, they really adapted it. Even little subtleties, like being able to crouch down there, it has been changed. Even if the dual shock was out at this time, there wasn't a standard for control with the dual shock yet. Um, I think Alien Resurrection actually was one of the first games to use the analog layout that we all know and love. Uh, I vaguely remember saying, uh, seeing some magazines saying that it used a horrible control method using both analog sticks. It was really confusing, and I remember somebody saying that in a review. But lo and behold, it became the standard because it made sense. And when you talk about Quake, you've got to talk about the music as well. It may not have Nine Inch Nails, but Sonic Mayhem did, did an amazing job on this. As I say, two analogs wasn't the standard yet at that point when Dreamcast came out. Don't forget the Nintendo 64 had just come out a couple of years prior, and that kind of brought analog back into the forefront, but that was only one stick. <clears throat> Sony are usually the copycats, but for once they, uh, they did something quite magical with those dual analogs.
say, uh, not because of the C stick. The Genki FPSs went harder because of the C stick. But the button layout did make things a little bit trickier. Because, of course, the GameCube had that big old A button and those tiny, weird, kidney-shaped buttons everywhere else. Kind of uh, kind of made things a bit awkward to use for FPS games. And a couple of other genres work great for things like Zelda, but uh, for games not designed with that control scheme in mind, it, it was uh, a little lacking. This is quick too. Yeah, Quake 2 is one of the most graphically impressive games, but not the most graphically impressive game. But it's so smooth, that's the thing I like about it. It's so smooth. Feels so good to play. Even with these slightly jarring loading screens, it's still blissful. The guns feel right, the control feels right. Quake 2 and the 64 slightly different. It's a, it's a different game, it has different levels, um, so you can't really compare the two exactly, but they're both awesome. I, I love the N64 Quake 2, and I love the PlayStation Quake 2, as I love the PC Quake 2. They all have their own plus points. This stays truer to the PC version. It does have to make a few concessions. I would have loved to have seen this on the Saturn though. Yeah, I'm playing this on emulation. This is running on uh, PSX Reloaded, P PCSX Reloaded. We've been having a few troubles with emulators today. Our Dreamcast was released a long time before this game came out. I got my Dreamcast in 1998 when it came out in Japan. But I still bought this when it came out because I was a huge Quake guy and a multiplayer or multi-format player. So. I stopped playing things like Virtua Fighter and Sonic and played the shit out of this for a while. This was good in multiplayer as well. It was only two player, but it was a good deathmatch. Good deathmatch game. Where'd that come from? Where am I being shot from? There. Come on. 
No, can't take him out. Soundtrack's awesome. Turbo graphics would have done better in the West if the marketing team hadn't completely screwed it. The marketing team are the worst marketing team I've ever seen. For the turbo graphics, they completely killed a perfectly valid machine with a good chance of getting market share. But hey ho, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now that machine was stunning. I mean, you look at Street Fighter on that. And remember that it's an 8-bit console. And it's just like, wow. I know they say TurboGrafx-16, but the processor's 8-bit, so it's an 8-bit machine. This might have a 16-bit GPU, but that doesn't really matter. Loading tunnel. Look at that flare effect as well. Do you see the glare there? Pretty cool for a PlayStation game. It's it's impressive all round, really. Persistent bodies as well. The bodies stay there unless you decide to destroy them. Now I've forgotten where I need to go. Um, I need to leave leave the area, don't I? I need to go all the way back. I need to head this way. level though oh I walked too far backwards this is the only downside with the PlayStation version. But look, the body's still there. Everything's persistent. Really, really clever. 
unfortunately that means the enemies are still going to be there too. So dead. Let's restart the level. At least we should start with full health. No, no we don't. Okay, we're going to have to resupply. Wow, I just got demolished. Get him out of the way. I'm going to focus fire on this douche, and then we'll clean up the stragglers. where we were earlier. There's a health pack over there, so I am tempted to drop down and get it, but that means having to go through the complex again, so there's no chance I'm doing that. I'm just going to cross here, pick up this one, and make do with the health we have. complete. All of that was the first level by the way. It's just one big long level. Yeah, I do, Dominic. I think there could have been a brilliant con conversion in this game if, if the Saturn was still relevant at that point. The Saturn had some very, very good tricks up its sleeve. And if you look at the way the Quake was ported over, that was an impossible port for the PlayStation. It just couldn't have been done. But lo and behold, there it was on the Saturn. This machine that couldn't do 3D, according to everybody, had this incredible version of Quake. It was better than the, the 64 version.
Which way is it? It's down this way, is it? Yeah. So there's a door there, a giant door here. Let's see what's down this way first. Oh, you were the railgun. Oh. Died from the rage yet? No, he hasn't. Let's cook the grenade a little bit, and then throw it. There it goes. Get some health again. Alright, now this time we're prepared for the railgun. That way looks like it's death, although there is power up there, look. Should we venture down? It's great, why not? Invulnerability. You can't kill me. This is no point shooting me. Yes, we'll take that key. Thank you very much. Leave the building. Go this way. Where do I go? This way. Oh, that's got death trap written all over it. Just deactivated. All right. Chain gun time.
Teams are real. with this blaster it makes it very difficult. Well that one's dead. Try and get his buddy around the corner. Whoa, grenades. Anything for me here. Anything for me at all. I'm not going to risk using that. There's a button here. What's that do? Ah! I got hit by something. But that, ladies and gents, is Quake 2, probably the most accomplished first-person shooter on the uh, on the whole system. I mean, it's got four players, for example, with Link Up. You can have a four-player deathmatch on that. Split screen too, so you could have. Two players on one PlayStation, two on another PlayStation, and it still runs smooth as butter. It, it's it's so impressive. I can't demonstrate it, but it's really impressive. Um, okay, so let's do one last game before we call it a night. So Quake 2 is done. One of the greatest PlayStation games ever definitely going to be on the top 100 list absolutely probably in the top 20 okay let's finish off with something shite shall we let's finish with an awful game anybody got any suggestions for an awful game to finish off with we want Complete horse shite, you know. Just something hilariously bad. Blasto. Blasto's not hilariously awful. Blasto's not bad. I, I'm thinking, you know, terrible. Let's have a really, really awful game to end with. No suggestions? I can't take Blasto as a suggestion. I'm sorry, that it's too good a game. No, no other suggestions. Okay. Well then. Oh, what do we do? What could we play? What's so terrible that I want to record it for the worst games ever? No, not Bubsy. Um, don't want to do Bubsy yet. I don't have the strength in me to do Bubsy right now. Uh... Mary Kate Nashley. See, now I got a problem with those kind of games. I can't really poo poo a game that's designed for young kids because I'm an adult and that's not really fair. I'm sure it's perfectly, perfectly functional for kids 
and I'm sure it's like Bob the Builder and Barney's hide and seek on the Mega Drive and stuff like that. It's just designed for a different market. I can't really judge it on the same the same merits as any any other game. You know, if it's a game for all ages, a game for everyone. Oh, South Park. Oh, okay. That's that's a rough one. Yeah. Okay. So South Park Chef's Love Shack. Oof. You would have heard right. Batman Beyond's not very good, but it's not terrible. This is terrible. This will send me to bed tonight. And wow, to listen show. to that sound quality. Started, and I thought it was help. bad on Dreamcast. It's almost as bad as my audio quality on my in. videos. Going solo, huh? Mm-hmm. It's got to be Cartman, right? Choose the number of rounds. Let's go for a hot and heavy. Heavy. Ooh, going the distance. This should be fun. As it's the last game of the night, we may as well make it count. South Park Cable Access welcomes you to Chef's Love Shack, the sexiest, sultriest, most sensual game show on earth. The show where young, vivacious, uninhibited swimsuit models compete for the chance to spend a romantic weekend with our host. Due to the lack of young, vivacious, uninhibited swimsuit models, today's show will feature youngsters from South Park Elementary. And now, won't you give it up for your host? The most eligible, edible, and ultimately unforgettable... Wait, that's yeah. a really creepy concept. Now, this isn't South Park on the Sega CD. It may as well be. This is PlayStation. I'm your host Did you just hear the concept Today, for this game? Basically, you're trying to get a passion filled weekend with the kids. You bet, Chef. Lovely lady number one is Eric Cartman. A third grader at South Park Elementary, Eric one day hopes to run the Legion of Doom. Roy, why the hell can't we ever get lovely ladies? Sorry, Chef. Rick James is in town. He's got all the lovely ladies. All right. Come on, children. Here we go. <laughs> this great singer went Baroque and declared bankruptcy in the mid-90s. Oh. That way. Great job. All right, get down. Let's do the double down. Place your bets. I'm gonna go a thousand. Yeah. Okay, here's Chef with the question. A lot of more said start on this sucky Canadian kid show. Ooh. I'm gonna guess. That one? Correct, children. Which of the following mottos was coined by LSD guru Timothy Leary? That one? Correct, children. Oh, right. Let's jump straight into a gameplay round. I 
I can't get over how oh, bad right. the audio it quality is on this. Your skills of coordination. If you're not sure how to play the game, check the instructions. Your controls are displayed beneath your character. be a contender for the worst PlayStation games list. I thought it wasn't bad for the Dreamcast, but man, this extra loading and slow down and sound quality, it's just terrible for the PlayStation. What's the scientific name for a fuck? Oh, um... Oh, no, no, children. Mr. Mackey is adept at which psychological ploy? Uh. That one? No, 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 children. <laughs> Chewie disguised himself as this bounty hunter to save Han and Leah from Jabba. That one? No, 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 children. I ain't got to a gameplay round. Gameplay round. Here we go. That's what we've all been looking forward to. We've got it! Yeah, I'm right, CG babe. All right. It's time to test your skills of coordination. If you're not sure how to play the game, check the instructions. Your controls are displayed. So this is basically the same mini game as the last one, right? <laughs> I've got to avoid the red cans. Okay. Hey guys! Are you tired of being down here weekly? Are you tired of being down here weekly? This is so bad. Wow. I can't get over how bad this is, actually. And this sold for full price. Welcome back, children. That was a great game. Let's do the double down. How much are you going to bet today, kid? I'm going to bet two grand. Okay, here's Chef with the question. He brought us the man-eating zombies of Night of the Living Dead. Good job, Easy. boy. All right, get down. Holy foreskins. Where does beef brisket come from? A brisket is but hey, right hey. now. Well, I guess that means you were wrong, children. Evil dictator Paul Pot ate pie in what country? That. 
good job, boy. Right, it doesn't even tell you the right, right answer when you get them wrong. Right into a gameplay round. You know, basic stuff. It's time for a gameplay round. If you're not sure how to play the game, check the instructions. Your controls are displayed beneath your character. Yeah, the fractured butthole was great, and the stick of truth was great too. I'm so excited and so enthralled. Kinda wishing I didn't say eight rounds now. Now that family in the table. In terms of units, who's right behind the colonel in fast food restaurants? Damn boy! Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the double thinking? down. Okay. How much are you going to bet today, kid? All of it. Yeah. Okay. Here's Chef with the question. Tonight's frozen waffles will be served with molasses, the syrupy sap which comes from. Oh. No. Well, I guess that means you were wrong, children. Chaps, sure are gay. Why do cowboys wear them? Uh, that. Good job, boy. All right, get down. Oh, right. Let's jump straight into a gameplay round. Are you as enthralled as I am with this game? All right, it's time to test. Which okay, cans are going to be? I'm going to start off by shaking this can. Be sure you keep your eye on the one I shook. Go ahead, point your finger to the one I shook up. This way. Very good. Wow. So I got splooged in the face as my prize. Okay. That was very exciting. Let's do the double down. Place your bets. Yeah. Do half okay, again. here's Chef with the question. According to a substitute teacher, Ms. Ellen, stands number one in his class at what? Ooh. Where? There. Oh, maybe yeah. some other time. What little country did Sodom annex to get the U.S. all pissed off in 1990? Oh, what was it? Um, Where? Lebanon. There. Oh, maybe yeah. some other time. Ellen DeGeneres' first starring movie role was in... Not a clue. I'm gonna guess... Oh, maybe no. come over there. Let's jump straight into a gameplay round. Woo! 
It's time for a gameplay round. If you're not sure how to play the game, check the instructions. Your controls are displayed beneath your character. This is basically the same as the last bonus game was. I missed. Okay. So we've seen two of the same game basically twice. This is over yet. I want this to be over. Welcome back, children. That was oh God, a great we got day. two more rounds. How would a PC hippie say hermaphrodite? That. Good job, boy. All right, get down. Starving Marvin wants to live in South Park as a resident alien. He needs. Good job, boy. All right, get down. Manson escapes the state pen with Codman's. That. <laughs> well, I guess that means you're right. wrong. Let's jump straight right into a gameplay round. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I can't believe it even got licensed. Surely Parker and Stone must have realized, like, this is going to be horseshit. It's time for a game Let's not license round. this out. If you're not sure how to play the game, check the instructions. Your controls are displayed. Go! This is annoying. You keep going between the lily pads. I might have the same one. My bag got a kid. Wow. Yeah, Stone is a bit of a game. I mean, that's why they wanted to work so hard on Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole. They, they thought the tech was good enough to make a proper South Park. You know? One that really did the show justice, now, but all of the other South Park games up to that point were freaking terrible. The only difference between espresso and cappuccino is that one. Great job! All right, get down. Let's do the <laughs> double down. Uh -huh. How much are you going to bet today, kid? Two grand. Yeah. Okay. Even though I've only got nine hundred points. Question. That loading time, yo. The hippie era was also known as. That way. Great job. All right, get down. These firecrackers cause more backyard injuries mm. than any other in America. Hmm. Great job! Alright, get down! Alright, let's jump straight into a gameplay round. Oh, another gameplay round. Yeah, but that do. It's mini game time! If you're not sure how to play, check the instructions. Oh, your it's Donkey Kong. Beneath your level. That kitty, you stay away from my pot pot! Go. It's the most ugly Donkey Kong ever. This is horseshit. I will give it credit though, when I jumped in front of the mirror, you did see a reflection of the kitty. 
in the mirror. So there must have been some degree of programming in this to think of that. Now that's family entertainment. Let's do the double down. How Let's much are you going to bet today, kid? Yeah. Now for the question. Oof. No idea. There. Oh, wow. maybe some other time. Can you come up with the most round. punishing if British phrase that just reflects this game? Your controls are good. Well... Mm. Play ball. Not in terms of angry video game nerd horse oh, fuckery, but um, it's just a crushing disappointment and an obvious cash grab. It's, it's rather bollocks. shit, the loading times are shit, the concept is shit, the game show itself is shit, everything's shit, and it's full price shit, it's not even budget shit, bud shit, as I like to call it, doesn't do the characters justice, you get none of their real personality coming through, this could literally be any game, without the South Park license, and it would still be awful. Still, the, the license has no bearing on the quality of the game whatsoever. It's just shite. Programming shite, graphics are shite, sound is shite, gameplay is shite, the disc is shite, the box is shite, everything is shite. But I scored, yay. Today's winner is Eric Kutman. The ending is shite. Join us next time when we'll play Chef's Love Shack with four bodacious swimsuit models. Really? You mean it? Sure, Chef. Sure. Wow, how funny. And they've got the audacity to make you sit through a credit roll. Really? Every one of these people should be strung up by their toes and have their testicles, if they have any, hit with a buzzsaw. If they haven't got testicles, then their titties should be hit with a buzzsaw. I would rather be anally raped by Kanye West than play this game ever again. And they go, yo, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm gonna finish in your ass first. That's what he's gonna say. I got the best finish of all time. All time. And then they'll never let me finish. And then I'd have Kanye West splooge dripping out of my butt crack. And it would still be more enjoyable than playing this ever again. 
You wouldn't even use loop. It's just start singing Jesus walks as he starts plowing my rib. Anyway, that is the love shack, baby. That's where it's at. Okay, right. That's me done for the night. It's 3.30 in the morning. It's time I have got to go to sleep. Well, so, South Park, eh? Do you know what the worst thing is about South Park? Is there's two more South Park games to play on PlayStation, and neither one of them are any good. Maybe tomorrow night. Okay. Until then, people, I'm going to play an ad just before I sign out, just in the hope that I can get a little bit of green, a little bit of cash to help keep the lights on. Of course, support me on Patreon if you want. If you want to help with that, then that's awesome. That will also help with hard drive space and things like that. Really appreciate it if you do look at that, but it's, of course, everyone's choice. You don't have to. I just appreciate you watching and spending a bit of time and having a bit of fun looking at games such as Horseshit Shack. Anyway, until next time, which will probably be tomorrow night. Bye for now.